in this session, we will learn about the types of hacking. First and the foremost is website hacking. Hacking a website means taking control from the website owner to a person who hacks the website. In past, many popular websites have been hacked. Hackers are now active and always try to hack websites and leak data. This is why security testing of web application is very, very important. There are a lot of methods to hackers used for hacking a website. Few of them are through vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, LFI, and RFI, etc. And we are also planning to discuss these matter in details in our next courses. How can you secure your web applications from hackers? Social media accounts hacked. When people talk about hacking and social networks, they are not referring to common definition of hacking, which is using malicious code or backdoors in computers network to damage system or steal proprietary information. Hacking into social networks requires very little technical skill. It is much more of a psychological game. Using information on personal profile to win a complete stranger's trust. For example, social engineering uses persuasive psychological techniques to exploit the weakest link in the information security system and with a security question, recovery method, etc. Moving further, network hacking. Network hacking is generally means gathering information about domains by using tools law, by using tools like Telnet, NS Lookup, Ping, Netstat, etc. over the network. We have already launched our course on network security, which is NMAP, Network Mapper. It is a security scanner. It is used to discover hosts and services on a computer network. We will also discuss in next modules of network hacking, how hackers access to your network and how can you secure your networks from hackers. Email hacking. Email hacking is illicit access to an email account or an email correspondence. There are many ways to hack an email account password, but few of them are phishing, key logging, brute forcing, social engineering, guessing the secret question, etc. Online banking hacking. Online banking hacking unauthorized accessing bank accounts without knowing the password or without permission of the account holder is known as online banking hacking. Computer hacking is when files on your computers are viewed, created, or edited without your authorization. Methods included are Trojan horse programs, backdoors and remote administration programs, denials of service, unprotected window shares, packet sniffing, and many more. The last one is cell phone hacking. With the advancement in the technology, cell phones have just turned themselves into a powerful mini computers. Many hackers also misuse cell phones for storing and sharing personal content. This is called cell phone hacking. 